Hello, am I live? I don't know because something went wrong. Oh, well, let's check the laptop. If you can see me, say hello or put the thumbs up or something and uh, let me know what's going on. Because yeah, I can't tell. Oh, it does look like there's something on the laptop, so maybe there's somebody out there watching me. Anyway, enough of that rubbish. Good afternoon and welcome. My name's Carrie. I'm one half of Two Big Girls Crafting. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the United Kingdom and I'm on the South Coast. Hi Kay. Oh, it's good to see you're there. I take it you can see and hear me. <laughs> um, what's going on in the world where you are? Where I am, it's all systems go for the holiday. I'm going away. Um, I'm actually being very fortunate. I'm lucky enough to be able to go to Las Vegas um, to attend a Stamping Up conference. And then I'm having a few days on the strip. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I am rather excited, if, if you hadn't guessed. Um, I can't wait to see the Bellagio fountains. For some reason, I wanted to see them for years and years. And I'm going to go and see them. Anyway. Enough about me. I hope you're all fine. Um, what are we going to do this afternoon? Well, this afternoon, last week, we unboxed and created the Blossom Wishes kit. And this week, I'm going to take the pieces from the Blossom, Blossom, not Blossom, Blossom Wishes kit, and I'm going to alter them a little to something different, just because I can. Anyway. Don't mean to look at me. Let's swap you and swap you round. And let's have a look. Well, this is the kit box as it arrives. And this is the kit I'm talking about. Last week, we created the two cards that, came, that you have been designed for you for this kit. And this week, we're going to... Hi, Andrea. We're going to play with the bits from the kit and create something completely different. So, what have we got in the kit? Well, as always with Stamping Up kits, they come with everything you need. There's glue dots and 3D foam. There's little vellum die-cut petals. There's panels. Um, there's card bases. Now, oh, I really thought oh, you might get a switch of that one that are embossed there's the other panels all die cut out but it's this card base I want to see and we're going to use the beautiful envelopes that come with them as well and these are the pears and apples hi Lynn missed you this morning sweetie hope you're okay uh, we might, and um, I'm actually going to take out some of these as well because I might use one of those. Um, and I'm definitely going to use a pair. I've got, I've got an idea in my head, and I just fancy it, giving it a go to see if it works. Um, what sentiment am I going to use? Uh, these ones are very nice. Hi Sue, how you doing, kiddo? Missing your company this week, that's for sure. Um, there's, an, and we're going to go for the big happy birthday because it's a DL card, so it's quite large. It's not the small, narrow one, it's the big one. Okay, so we've got those bits. We, oh, throwing everything else around, and we might leave the leaves near the top, and we might. Oh, Jill's watching! Hello Jill, how are you? Long time no see. Saw you this morning. <laughs> oh, hang on. Sorry, I dropped it. Had to lean down and find it. Not too bad, it's hot. Actually, it's rather warm here, but I doubt if it's as warm as where you are. Okay, I'm going to take, leave out one of these blue envelopes. And I'm going to leave those panels near the top. So I'm going to put that box to one side. So I've got an envelope. I've got some die, some of the die cut pieces. 
I might use some of those, I might not. I'll see how I get on. Um, and I have a sentiment, and I have some pears, and these little vellum pieces. So, first things first. What am I gonna do with this base? Now, I like this card base because it's textured, but you can't see it. So my thoughts were, if in doubt, get your blending brushes out. So I'm going to, I've just put a piece of kitchen roll down simply because um, blending and I always get messy. So I thought I'd try and keep it clean. Oh, it's Ali on Jill's phone. <laughs> You're Jill's, are you? That was a nice surprise for her. Right, so I'm going to start off with Lemon Lolly. I've picked colours, some of the colours from there. You should have come down this morning, Ali. You could have come to Cardin a Cuppa. So I've got a blending brush. As you can see, I've got a bit of colour on it. So I'm going to rub it off on a scrap. No, it's not coming through, so we're not going to worry. So I'm going to pick this up. And I'm just going to blend from the bottom, going across to see if I can get the chevrons that are embossed on here to stand out a little bit more. It's an idea I had in my head. doesn't mean to say it'll work, but, oh, I think it might be. They definitely look like they're more standout-y to me here in person. I've got ink on me already, so we're, do we're doing well. Ah. Uh, as I was saying, Sue, it's rather warm here too. Well, it's warm for us anyway. <laughs> now I've picked four colours. I usually use three, but um, I wanted to make the transition a little bit smoother. So I've picked four. So I'm going to colour about a quarter of the way up. I keep going round and round very gently. Don't apply too much pressure. Just keep it loose and be gentle. And that, I think, I would never have got there on time. This was last minute on the way. Um, oh, oh, I'll pull the other one. It's got bells on. <laughs> Glad you can join us, though. So we've done Lemon Lolly, which is this lovely yellow. And we're going to close that up. And we're going to pick out Fresh Freesia. Now, Fresh Freesia isn't in the colours, but I wanted to make a softer transition from the yellow to the shade of purple and I think Freesia is going to be the one to work best and if it doesn't we'll try something else so again nice and gentle move it around a little bit start slightly off and work your way over and get the marks out and just don't put your finger in it like I've just done <laughs> there we go well, let's see how, what's happened. I've gone a bit heavy there, but that's okay. We'll work with it. We can make it work. Can you see this as it's coming through? I don't know if you can, but if you can, can you give me a thumbs up? And blend those two colours together gently. So we don't know if they're going to work or not. But actually, I think they are working quite nicely. So I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to keep it up anyway. So there we have Lemon Lolly, Fresh Freesia. Just going to go into that bottom blending edge there gently. I'm going to bring the yellow back. And usually you would say never go back over the top with a light on a dark, but I'm going to live dangerously just over that bit there so it creates a new shade of colour and it worked okay phew that was good <laughs> so we'll keep the lemon and we're there we'll keep the freesia over there because we will go back to that when we blend our next colour which is going to be orchid oasis now i know this is lynn's favorite out of the uh, last year's in colours 
So let's check the brush is still okay. So I'm going to pick up the colour and do exactly what we've been doing all along. Now this is a blue, much bluer purple. As you can see, it's a much darker purple than the uh, fresh freesia. But that's okay. It's going to be all right. It's a bit heavy-handed. I've been a bit heavy-handed on the edges, but it serves me right. Look, I can get there. It will be fine. Keep going. <laughs> See, I made that section too small. Afternoon, Becky. Hope the weather's nice where you are. I will be in Las Vegas on Wednesday. So I'm hoping the weather's not too hot. Hi, Debs. How are you doing, kiddo? It's lovely spending time with you this morning. We had our card. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say what I was doing. <laughs> the next colour is Starry Sky. Um, we had our card in the cuppa this morning, if you're trying to gather what we're talking about. Um, and uh, we were fortunate enough to spend some lovely time with the lovely Debs before she had to go to work. Now, this is my problem with Orchid Oasis. I think it's very close to Starry Sky in ink when you're blending it. So I'm going to get this quite dark because I want this to really look different. Of course you're working hard. You're a hard-working woman. <laughs> now that means it looks a little better. So let's go back in with some more of the uh, Orchid Oasis. See if we can make this look a little more orchidy or less blue shall I say I don't want it quite so blue I want it a bit more purpley I'll blend those edges together so what do we think looks like a bit like a, a nighttime sky doesn't it oh, I quite like that but I do think I'm going to have to go around the edges of everything with the the blue just to make those lines look a bit smarter because they're looking a bit messy aren't they and I'm not planning on covering it up so we'll make it look purposeful so we'll get the blue which is the starry sky again and we're going to very carefully just take it on those edges like that and in fact I'm just going to pick that up and do the edges like that Add blow ho blue. Oh, thank you for the tip, Brenda. I will give that a go. Uh, let's get the boho blue out. This is boho blue. Do I have a boho blue brush handy or one that I can use? I don't know about you guys, but I tend to have a lot of brushes that are all the same colours because they're my favourites and I use them a lot. <laughs> so let's clean that off a bit. Hopefully it will work. Oh, you found out by mistake. Ah, it sounds like there's a story in there. Uh, let's try this gently over the top. It does look a bit more purple. That's very good. Thank you for the top tip. Let's blend those edges across there. And where these marks are is where we'll put things. That's what we do, isn't it? I need to go back in with that there. I think the fresh freesia. Let's lift that up a little higher. See if we can get it a little higher. I am going to turn my piece of trusty kitchen paper over. And just bring that purple up there. See here, fresh freesia looks very pink to me. There. Boho overnight of navy goes purple. Okay. I used starry sky. That might have been why it didn't go quite as bright. 
purple but that I think that looks quite nice I think that's quite nice right okay we'll put them to one side what are we going to do with it next well I'm going to grab a water spritzer good old water in a spritzer bottle another piece of kitchen rug and I'm going to just miss all over it and then dab so that it can blend those colours. I love the way that works. Need a bit more down. Blending is very challenging, yes, I know. I have troubles with it all the time. I'm going to put a little bit more up here just to lift that colour. If you put water, spritz water onto any of your blended backgrounds and lift them up straight away, they take the colour up, which is kind of what I was looking for on there. So I'm going to put that to one side because I do have another idea. If I can find what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my white ink pad. Very old whisper white ink pad. But it will work. I'm going to put a few drops of white re-inker in the lid. Not too much. And I'm going to take a water brush, water painter, whatever we call them, uh, when I can find it. Oh, it's done a runner. There it is. Oh, it's falling out. And I'm going to squeeze a little drop of water into the tray. Not a lot because I want it to be quite white, but I need it to be a little bit runnier. And then I'm going to uh, just flick. need to go back and watch from the beginning how did you get the lines in the paper the lines in the paper this is actually the a kit from stamping up called blossom wishes hang on with bear with as i try and find the picture there it is it's called blossom wishes uh it's a kit that until the end of this month august is on special offer and i do believe it's just over 11 pounds and it makes beautiful cards and I am just playing around with what's in the kit to create other things. Oh, I like you the white on there. I've now got it everywhere. Leave that like that to dry out a bit. I, I'm, I'm going with along the lights night sky vibe but uh, it could be whatever you like really. I wish I hadn't done this bit but um, I might chop it off and go from there. So what what do we think? Should I chop this off, the, what, the blue on the edges at the bottom, or should I leave them on? Um, I can put it onto a mat of a white card. I'm just washing the white ink out of my brush. Enough for me to leave it alone until after I finish chatting with you guys. So... First one that tells me, do I cut it off the card base? Yeah, I'm going to, because I've got it on there as well. No! Oh, no, everybody's saying, oh. Two said no. Sorry, Lynn. The first one's up. Lozzie said, leave it on. Sue said, leave it on. So we're going to do that. Right. So we've created a new base from, this is the card base that we started with um, yeah you can just about see the texture on there it's got these bits you don't like the yellow but it might look nice when it's done thank you for being honest with me <laughs> I'm going to give this a quick blast with my heat gun so bear with please I want the uh, ink to dry before I go any further Oh, I know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> See how that's curling? That's because of the ink is wet on the page. But it will dry flatter. 
Now we've done that. You know what I'm going to go in with? I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella and I'm going to give it a quick splat with that as well. I think the white, the water will work with this as well. So we're going to squeeze until we see it coming down and then we're just going to now this, I doubt you will get a picture of at all, um, because the camera just doesn't pick up the sparkle as well on things, but here it is really sparkly. We'll leave that out because we're going to add some of that. It's the same one as a heat gun. Is that the same as a heat embossing gun? Yes. Yes, this is my heat tool. Come, I always recommend buying one with two settings, low and high, so that when you're first starting out, you can use the low speed. Remember, never touch that end because that gets red hot. And take your time. Don't rush when you're using it. So can you see any of that? Oh, look at that sparkle. And the ridges and the lines in real life really are perking up a lot can you see the lines at all I hope you can I hope you can I liked the texture of it so I was planning on putting my pears on there but along with a leaf and a sentiment because the pears should sit on there like that and I wanted the leaves to come over so that they were oh I've got bits sticking out there <laughs> Andrea's just said it would look nice with a polar bear on it it would oh how about if we move the pears up and the sentiment underneath that's nice i like that what do you guys think now the sentiment on this is from the kit and it's foiled so it's beautiful and shiny i like shiny things now these are going to look very plain on here so what i'm going to do is i am going to add a bit of color to the back of them now i think i'm going to go with fresh freesia give it a try to see what happens so I've got my blending brush I've got me ink these are vellum so I'm going to say that that is the reverse and I'm just going to put a little bit of color on the back of that flower and see if I can make him stand out a little bit more oh no I'm going to go on the front because it's not really showing up on there can you see it's not very yeah definitely need darker color fresh freezers too light so don't want white put that over there uh don't want barry blue uh, uh, orchid oasis that's what we want we're going to try orchid oasis this is a game of trying and playing trial and error that's the word i was looking for so we've got our blue i'm going to take another piece of kitchen wood because i'm getting a bit inky put that on there and we're just going to gently put that over the top of that flower and see how that comes out now that shows it's gonna oh look i've made a little stencil <laughs> i think that's going to show up a lot better so i'm going to add three of those because I like to work in threes and you have more than enough of these in the kits so don't worry you, if you want to take the kit apart and make it different it's fine but if you're just starting or if you're on a holiday or if you want some quick crafting kits are amazing they are amazing things they're great for when you lose your you like the sentiment at the bottom as well thank you yeah i prefer it there too so that's very carefully let me just dab that over so it's 
one thing I would say, don't put your heat tool on this because uh, I'm not sure what the thickness of the acetate is. That's going to pop that on there for now. The vellum, it's not acetate at all, is it? It's vellum. So we're just going to find the other one, pop that out, put that to one side. And I do think we need to add a little bit of sparkle to the flowers. So I'm going to use my trusty Winkostella again. And I'm just going to put it on top. Now, Winkostella and a, a water-based ink pad will turn it into a watercolour. So it's quite fun, but when you're not wanting it to move the colour around, you have to be a bit careful. So let's try, I think that one might have been overdone a bit. Yeah, this loose, but it, look at the sparkle. Can you see the sparkle on those? So pretty. Yes, I brought a couple away with me. Need a crafting fix. Absolutely, they're brilliant for, for that. They work so well when you, when you need to just need to do something. <laughs> okay. So, how are we going to put this together? Right, I'm going to use the 3D foam, or as if you're a stamping up person, you will call them dimensionals. But do you know what? I think I might add a bit of colour to, a bit of sparkle to our pears. I'm just going to brush off the colour, make sure it's not there. I'm just going to add it where the shadows are already on there. Just to add a little bit of something, something. And speckledy bits over here and around the bottom. Usually you'll find that most things will show you where they need to have anything added. Shadows and lines and things. That just not showing up on there, is it? But it's very sparkly now. <laughs> Do we want to put any on? No, the leaves don't need it because they've got the, the foiling on them. We don't want to interfere with that. So first things first, let's put our sentiment up. We're going to use 3D foam. We're going to place those big ones in those spaces like that. And I'm going to cut the edge parts of my packaging because it's waste not want not time. And use that for, I'm going to cut it again actually. And I'm going to use that for there and there. I must give my hands a quick wipe because I'm now covered in ink and sparkle and oh, it's lovely. So we're going to put the sentiment at the bottom. So what kits did you take, Sue? Did you, do you have a favourite? I know um, Kay's favourite kit always used to be Sentimental Rose. Is that still your favourite, Kay? Or have you changed now? Have you moved on to something new? Okay, so I'm going to place more of these 3D foam squares. They're not squares, they're hexagons. On the leaves, I'm going to take one and cut it in half for that one there because it's a bit, a bit bigger. Now I'm going to use some more of this edging to create a really slim piece to go on the stem like that. Hopefully that won't show. Let's just check. Nope, that doesn't show up at all. Um, I won't need that piece. That can go back over there. And I'll use this long narrow piece to go across there. So we have our 3D foams on the back. Now we need to put our Oh nice. Still liking the rocking chair one. They they are my sorts of colours. The rocking chair one. What's on the rock? Oh, the Boho Beach. I don't have that. I keep... I um, Yeah, because 
you like those vintage colours, don't you? So, what do you think of the yellow? Is it working better now for you, Kay? Or is it still not your thing? Now, I don't want my pears to be flat. So, let's put some 3Ds under them. And I do want it to stick to the leaf. So, I'm going to take that. This is a little bit of tear and tape. Um, and I'm going to work out where that, because it has a little dimple there for the uh, stalk. Stalk, that's what they're called, isn't it? Stalk. So, let's put that there. And I'm just going to take this little bit of tear. Oh, actually, do you know what? Tear and tape would, would, what would be better would be one of these glue dots. Have I got the glue dot? Yes. So I'm just going to stick that onto there. Pinch it down. Okay, we need to right, slightly adjust this because that's sh showing and we don't want it to show. So I'm all fingers and thumbs because I was getting excited because I'm going away. Good afternoon, Carmela. Now we have to take all the backings off of these leaves and oh, pears and everything else. So let's give this a go. And that one. And that one. There's so many. I like I like texture and I like dimension. I think it's uh, that's the issue. Right, I'm going to got one packed through there and I'm going to can you see how that one is on there? So I'm going to put that on there so that it sits up and across. That one as well. Ow, oh, sticky. Right, so keep the card. I use my grid paper to get my lines relatively straight. Line that up with the edge of the card. And there we go. Have I packed yet? Do you know what? Everybody's saying, been saying to me, have you packed yet? Have you packed yet? Up until this afternoon, no, I hadn't. I wasn't going to either. But Andrea said, it's your birthday tomorrow. You should do it. You shouldn't do it on your birthday. So, yes, I've got all my clothes out. They're, they're all ready to go, but they're not actually packed in a suitcase yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take these little blossoms and I'm going to put a glue dot behind the middle and carefully take that off and I'm thinking do I want to put them down here down there or up there ah decisions that's that can be lifted off in a minute um next one Next one, next please. I have remembered me. Um, don't you get a towel for the extreme heat? Uh, I've got my swimsuit because I'm planning on getting in a pool. I want these down here, I think. Uh, but really. I'm just going for the fun, so I won't be dressing up, dressing up. But there will be... I'm going to see the Grand Canyon on Monday. So that will be an experience of a lifetime. Um, and I'm going to see the Bellagio Fountains. Woohoo! There. What do you think? I, it really is sparkling here. I'm really not sure. Sure now I need this kit. The pictures do not do it justice. Absolutely. We're sad you're not joining us too, So, But we are looking forward to Rotterdam when we go with you then. So, now, Kay doesn't like this yellow. Kay, tell me three colours quick that you do like. And we'll have a go at blending uh, the small background. I, I, I'm fascinated by the sparkle on there. Thank you, Lozzie. 
I'm going to grab another card base, but I'm going to grab a small one, and I'm asking Kay to choose three colours to blend on it. Three colours, Kay. No pressure. Quick, quick. Mm -hmm. Spit spot. We'll give it some more love, shall we? We'll give it a bit of blending love. I wonder what she'll pick. She likes the neutrally tones, don't you, Kay? So maybe she'll go for crumb cake. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, Kay, you've been picked at the post. This morning we were talking and Emma, one of the lovely ladies that joined us, I don't think she joined us on this group, was saying how she loves more vintagey colours, especially for Christmas. She loves Christmas, does our Emma. We've done some Christmas cards for her on here. We're doing we're doing one Christmas card a month on a Monday. And her favourite combo is old olive, cherry cobbler, with a little bit of crumb cake. Let's see if we can blend them to make a nice background. And we can perhaps turn our card into more of a Christmassy card. So I've got rum cake and cherry cobbler. Oh, I don't think I've got a cherry cobbler one. Yay! That'll do. Oh, that's a bit sweet for a Oh, that'll do. So, let's start off with the crumb cake. You love them colours together? Yeah, I thought you would. So, we're going to start with a bit of crumb cake. Swirling round and round. I'm going to start off the piece again. This is the small card from the set, but it has the same um, texture on it. And we're going to keep this a bit vintage. We're just going to create a vintage look on this one. A vintagey, Christmassy inspired one. Ooh, it's not even the end of August yet. We shouldn't be talking about Christmas, should we? But actually, yes, if you're a card maker, we do start talking about Christmas quite early on, really. Um, if you are local, we are hold it, hosting a Christmas class on the 22nd of September. Night ladies, sleep well my love, take care and uh, happy birthday for yesterday. Speak to you soon sweetie. Bye. Okay, so we, we well, I was talking about earlier about being in thirds. I've gone up about a third of the way up. I'm darker at the bottom, kind of darker in the sides but keeping the middle a little lighter. It's just the way I do it. There is no right, no wrong way to do this. So, should we have green in the middle or red? I'm going to go red. I'm going to take this brush. I'm not entirely sure what colour that is, but it's reddish enough. So, we're going to pick up some of that red. Now, that red is very deep. So, we're going to be very gentle with it. I'm going to tap off the harshes. And work our way across there. And blend in those bits there. So that's crumb cake, cherry cobbler. I'm going to just put a little bit more cherry on there. And we're going to put a bit more crumb cake up there. Now this colour, crumb cake, is Jill's absolute nemesis. She really doesn't like it at all. <laughs> oh, nearly put that in the red, move that over there. Don't want to put red in there, do I? I'm going to blend over the red edge. Oh, thank you, Carmela. Whereabouts are you based? Uh, can you see the texture on there as well? It's really nice. Where are you from? I'm in Crawley in West Sussex in the United Kingdom. Um, I, 
actually, I prefer it when my ink pads aren't as juicy. Yup, 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 Jill. <laughs> um, Brenda, I actually use, um, I like a drier pad because you can add, but you can't take away. Well, you can take away, but it's not the easiest thing to do. So I prefer a slightly drier pad. Um, if you find it, if you're starting, I would recommend, oh, 2020, oh, I do, oh, my days, I'm, don't throw the year away, SC, is that South Carolina? I'm not sure about, uh, SC, not sure what that is, um, back to the, t yes, if you're using a blending brush and an ink pad, and you feel that you're getting very splodgy or heavy, um, try taking a piece of card or an old um, credit card or an old uh, scrap of card. And you can, I'm not actually going to do it, but you can push the ink towards the edge of the pad and just use the bit where you've pulled the ink away. Ah, South Carolina. Wow, you're a f we've never had anybody from South Car Carolina, 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 to my knowledge. Do they damage the pad? No, because these brushes are incredibly soft. In fact, I would suggest that these, these are stamping up ones, but most of them are say, the same. Can you uh, see if the camera will pick it up and focus on it uh, it's not happy about it they are made up of thousands and thousands of tiny little filaments they are like the brushes you would put on your face so they are designed to be incredibly soft Kansas ooh. And Brenda's first life as well. Oh, thank you, ladies. Um, so I don't think this is going to hurt your pad. These are um, foam pads. So they would scratch if you were very heavy handed. Um, but I don't see how this could cause you. I'm trying to look for something that might show you how soft and there's thousands and thousands of brush in there bristles not brushes <laughs> um so no i don't think it will if you're very heavy-handed it may do there we go so we're going to brush and when you apply when you're doing your swirling around you don't apply pressure you let the the bristles pick it up always start off because that will tap it off to get the heaviest part of the ink off and then work in small circles to apply the colour. Circles, circles, circles. <laughs> swirly, swirly, swirly. So as you get used to it, you'll know if you're being too heavy handed and you'll learn that's how we learn isn't it we don't we learn with practice we learn by taking part and doing things well i certainly do so this is a very mm, tonal card hi tanya you're in cornwall ontario oh thank you so much that you're all saying such lovely things you're very kind. Um, I This is some of the hardest things I find to do is doing a Facebook Live um, because I'm very much a person. person. I like people and I like to interact with people and I find talking and not having anybody answer me <laughs> quite tricky. I like bouncing ideas off of people so... Uh, I try and read the comments and get you to interact with me so that I can, uh, so I don't feel so I'm lonely. 
So always very grateful when you answer and talk and ask questions. Feel free to ask any questions anytime. I'm here to help. That's my joy is spreading the love of crafting. Um, now I always use Stamping Up products because I like them. You use what you like. Don't ever feel intimidated or that I, you have to use a particular thing. You don't. What you need to use is what makes you happy. I also enjoy your videos. Oh, thank you. I try to keep it... Uh, I like techniques. I, as you all know, Becky, you know, you've been here a while. You know I love getting messy. But I don't want you to feel a bit overwhelmed. So, so we're doing a little light spritzing on there. Another piece of Carrie's handy dandy kitchen roll. Let's push it on. Look at what came off of there. But that to me, just putting a spritz of water over it, just brings the colours together beautifully. Well, I think it does. So what are we going to do now? We're going to do exactly what we did with the last one. We're going to add some white ink that I have now put down and can't find. There it is. Do you work in a mess? I do. <laughs> I am. I have a sign that says creativity is messy and I'm very creative. <laughs> And uh, Jill will attest to my messiness. Oh, hang on. There's a little bit more water to that because it's not moving around as much as I want it to. There we go. White, white ink is great if you want to make things look a bit lighter. And they add a great deal of texture to so we'll just put that there we're going to slot that over there we'll clean up afterwards and wink of stella because it's going to be a christmas card so we have to have a bit of wink a bit of sparkle and we're going to all i'm doing is squeezing it can you see this is where the the ink comes from the chamber down into the nib so i'm squeezing some out and i'm putting it into the lid of my pen, uh, cap of my pen, and I'm just going to use the cap to flick it onto the panel, the work area, whatever you want to call it. And do we have some? Oh, we have some sparkle. Now I'm not going to put this away because I'm going to use some of the apples. Them dead apples because they're kind of in the red area. Do I want them to be a bit more cherry cobbler? Yeah, let's add a bit of cherry cobbler to them. They're, sh they're sweet sorbet in colour, so I'm just adding a little bit of cherry cobbler to them as well. And I'm going to put some sparkle on there as well because we like sparkle. And it's going to be more of a winter wishes card. Oh, I don't like it on the red. I wish I had done it that way. Oh, no. Ha ha! We can turn it around like that. Now, why didn't I think of that sooner? Uh, I need some leafy parts. So, these are blue. Well, actually, I think they're... Orchid Oasis, I'm not sure they're going to work, are they? That's really not working on... Well, no. Nah, not sure that works for me. I'm going to take that away. And we need some stalks for those. So let's put that to one side. And I've got, look, I've got ink all up my arms. <laughs> and we're going to take a piece of the card that this comes on. I'm going to take a little bit off of there. Oh look, can you see where these are stamp, uh, stamped onto the pay card and then die cut, there is a slight edge. Now I think that would make a great 
住。哈哈哈！哈 ，Yeah, I'm happy with that bit. And should we use this side as well? Let's just cut ourselves another piece off. Like that? No,、nope, I don't like that way. Let's turn it around. Put that that way. All fingers, no thumbs. That needs to come off. That's what the problem is. The yellow's not right. Could you turn them over? Yes, I could. And that might be something that I'm looking at doing shortly. Like that. So let's get those leaves back and have a look at what they look like on the reverse. Do they work? Do you know what? We could add our own colour to them with a blending brush, couldn't we? Have a piece of kitchen roll again. Good old kitchen roll. And find the green. This is old olive. Sponge them. Yep. I'm going to use a blending brush because that's what I've got to hand. And we'll see what happens. And there we go. I'm going to quite like that. There we are. We can layer up the colour and get the darker bits in there as well, so we can. And we don't have to have the same colour stems. We can grab the crumb cake, which is the brownie colour at the bottom, for the stems. So bring in the other colours. See, what teamwork makes the dream work, eh? Teamwork makes the dream work. So there's a little bit more colour to that. There we go. So there we have our apples. And do you know what? I'm going to cut that bit off of there. Kits are made to be played with, and making your own. So I'm going to round that gently off of there, so that I can turn that over, so it's not going to get ink everywhere. I'm then going to give this a quick blast because the reason the cardstock curls is all the moisture that's on there.、Um, You could, yes, I'm planning on using all of it. Why not? And、um, the reason I'm drying it is because I'm impatient. If I were to wait, it would dry out in its own good time. But I am being impatient. I need it to go flat, so I'm just going to put that on there and hold it down a minute. <laughs> it'll it'll still bow, curl, but it will go flat or flatter, shall I say? We can bend it in the opposite direction. So we're going to place that on there with our apple there. We're going to use our stalk that we created our own stalk. It looks like a wiggly worm now. I think that one might be better. Or do we need to? Can we put the leaves over the top? I quite like the leaves on top, actually. And I'm going to bring the other leaves there. Uh, no, I don't like that so much. Come on, I want my apples to be the star of the show here. So,
What do we think about that? Up a little bit. How's that looking, ladies? What do we think? Are we going okay with that? Do we want a little stem on this apple? Ah, come on, play the game. No, the stem's too thick now. Don't like that. Put that to one side. We'll have a stem-free apple. And that needs to come the other way as well. <laughs> do you do this? Do you play this game where you um, chop and change and you move everything around and you just have a bit of fun playing with it? That's what I like, is playing with it. Oh, let's take that stem off of there, shall we? Follow the line of the leaf. Grab a little bit of colour to do that edge. And we can put that up there like that. That's better. See, it just won't stay still. There, like that. So we've got some apples on a tree. What do the apples look like at the bottom? Let's have a look. Well, they do actually look quite nice at the bottom. Because the red shows up. Or oh, we were going to do that way, weren't we? So we could do apples going there. Let's have our apples going that way. What do we think about our apples there, Kay? Um... <laughs> what do I need now? I need sentiment. I'm going to use... Um, I think I'm going to have to step outside and use... Oh no, I might be able to use... <laughs> you matter. When you get these kits, particularly these... Um, non-stamping kits they're called they come with lots of other languages so I'm going to use mit lieber I don't know what it means because I don't speak they do don't they and I the English one says you matter and that's too blue on there I don't like the orchid oasis on there but I quite like the shape, so what I think I will do, I did pull out before I came, oh, and I've dropped it all over the place again. I do a lot of cleaning up after I've been on here. How about, uh, I have got happy birthday, thinking of you, warm hello, I haven't got a Christmas sentiment near me. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go with just a note oh I hate trying to read these back <laughs> these back to front um, hmm. just it's going to have three words just a no that's too big that one does that say just a note I think it does and I think it will fit on there so let's grab a block like that we're going to put our block on the grid paper because I don't put the stickers on my stamps if you have the stickers you don't need to worry about this but if you're using somebody else's who you do look through the block and line up with a line underneath and you should be okay to go so I'm going to grab my black ink tap 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 straight down one two three and up see it's upside down this is why we try it out before we go use the edge of the block is hopefully where your straight line is perfectly straight just a note i think that will work nicely i'm going to put that over there i'm going to line up this little tag cartouche whatever you call it on there going to line up my sentiment one two three just a note there. now 
this looks very white against there. Do we want to add a touch of colour to it or do we want to put a little colour around the edges? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Oh, it's so hard. So, while, I, while, I, while you're deciding, uh, <laughs> I could, if I wished, blend around the edges of that with crumb cake just to soften the edge. But I do think I want to try some of these. Uh, let's grab one of those flowers and we'll see. I quite like them as soft white onto there. I'm going to have three there and they do, do come in two sizes. I didn't know this to begin with but they are large and small. And I'm going to have two small ones as well. So we're going to have five. I always work in odd numbers for embellishments and such like. So do we put... yep I, I I agree I think the crumb cake needs to be softening that edge of there so I'm literally just applying it from the brush as it stands to see I don't want it to be darkened too hard so just build it up if we need to add more ink we can do but can you see how that has already softened that edge just around the edges so that the sentiment appears just pop out a little bit more yeah that's much nicer to my eyes i'm going to leave these little vellum blossoms over there and there and there can you see them on screen do I need to color them I don't think I do um, oh or do I want to see if I can get some white ink no I'm not going to add any more to them I'm going to take the adhesives and put everything together so I'm going to start by putting my vellum little it's blossoms that's the word i've been looking for it says it's in the title blossoms carry keep using the words they'll come to you eventually so we've got a block there let's take the backing off i'm just going to put them randomly across there so they kind of look like they're falling down And keep going, keep them in clusters or all in one direction. This is the fiddliest part, my least favourite bit. But it will be worth it because although it doesn't show up very clean, clearly on the screen on my phone, I'm hoping you have better luck seeing it than I am. nice thing is they can move be moved so when it's as long as you don't press it down um, you can gently remove them and reposition them uh, once it's pressed down it will stay where it's at okay and now I'm all sticky I've got sticky everywhere oh dear there so we need some 3D foam to attach our apples to the branch. So let's get some here and we're going to cut them up and make them a bit smaller. Now we do actually sell two different sizes of these but this kit only comes with this size. So that's okay, it's not a problem. Um, we're going to put that one there. That one there, and uh, 
that one there and that one there. We could indeed. Let's play with this bit first and then we will see it. Oh, five past six, we've been here for ages. My apologies. Ah, we've been a long time. <laughs> so, I'm not going to put any 3D foam on there. What I am going to do is just anchor it down at one end, at the end, with a glue dot. So it doesn't get ripped off when it goes in an envelope. And it will add a little bit of dimension coming across. So we have him going like that. We're going to have our apple there. We need another 3D foam there. Let's put this together quickly because it's a long time past. I've had so much fun, I just can't keep, can't stop. <laughs> And one, yeah, um, I'm going to cut the end off of there, like that, and like that, and use this piece to go halfway down there. Sorry, I'm muttering because I'm muttering to myself as I go along. <laughs> you could watch me. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. That's a lovely thing to say. So let's get that see how I've pushed that down there so that it just won't catch when you put it in an envelope um, we're going to place our sentiment over here and we're going to take that uh, let me grab my pokey tool or my take your pick tool very gently lift that up stick that there I'm gonna put the flower on there as suggested and maybe move that one to over here um, and I'm gonna reach for my multi-purpose glue my favorite and then just pop that under there at an angle saying just a note and there we have it so sorry it's taken me such a long time I have been taking up lots of your time today thank you for joining me I really do appreciate it um, I will be away for two weeks I will endeavour to perhaps try and do a little Facebook Live from Las Vegas next week. I will be in the Grand or on the Grand Canyon um, or near it anyway at the time. I will aim to do something and see if I can put something up. I might not be able to. We'll wait and see. Anyway, there's our first alternative and there is our second alternative. That should actually say Christmas or whatever but it says just a note for now so we have the little flowers we have the apples with the sparkles ah lots of fun thank you for joining me and I do hope you're all keeping well and have a great week um, I will endeavor to join you next Monday from the Grand Canyon um, and then the following week I will not be live but the week after I will be Oh, I plan on enjoying my vacation very much. I'm super excited. <laughs> anyway, that's enough from me. Take care, my lovelies. Look after yourselves and hope to see you all again soon. Oh, and don't forget, this video will go up onto YouTube. Um, if you'd like to go and see it over there and see, you can fast forward and things. Um, and if you'd like to like and subscribe, I'd be very grateful. Take care. Look after yourselves. Bye bye.